Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card using the dies from um, Painted Potty Poppies. Using these dies, I use this one. I use the flower, both flowers, and both leaves. Um, So I done. Oh yeah, that was all I've got out. This came from, I think it was humming along. And I haven't brought it with me. Let me go and get it. No, it didn't come from humming along. Never mind, I use humming along. No enough the same. Can't remember where I got that one from. Must be a new stamp set. But I can't remember which one. But humming along I'll use wishing you an amazing birthday. Which is just near enough the same. So to get started we need some stamps because I haven't got any stamps out. So we'll use that one. We'll use that one. We'll use that one. And that one. And that one. I'm going to change the colour on the flowers. For this I've got a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half, and it's burnished. A piece of basic black at 8 and a... 8 and a... at 5 and 7 eighths by... Th 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And a piece of white at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. I've also got a piece of black. No, let's do this one. A piece of old olive at an inch and a half by three and seven eighths. And a piece of black at an inch by three and seven eighths. Yeah, three and seven eighths. I've also got a piece, this piece here, of mossy meadow at an eighth of an inch and I'll chop that off when it's time and the background here I did in Wisteria Wonder and I've got a pit here in terracotta tile which is the colour I'm going to use and I cut that out so what we need to do is bring up a piece of paper because we're going to be stamping off. Put that down and bring it in terracotta tile and using the big splatter dot stamp off because it is quite dark and just stamp over the where this is going to lay and then with the little one just don't stamp off put in some darker patches Buried that one there, yeah. and we'll have a dark patch here. So that's all we need the terracotta tile for now. I won't do it up. 
Um, then we've got the sentiment to put on. So we'll use oh that's fine for this. And we're going to put that there. Spatter dots. Right, don't need that no more. Put that to one side and bring in a scrap piece of paper. Now, with the solid one flower, it's the infill to fill in the colour. But what I'm going to do is stamp it off and place it down. I'll do it twice. Place it down and then clean it because we're going to use it with the old olive. Now I've got the main flower and I'm just going to lay it over and that is our flower coloured in and the same with the smaller flower. Right, for the leaves, what I did with old olive, got the infill, as the risen an infill for the leaves, and stamped it on there, and then went over it again, because I like my leaves a little bit darker. And then with the leaves, I put one there, one there, and one there. And then I went away and cut them out. After I cleaned my stamps, that was. And I have got here the leaves and flowers. It looks like it's just been watercolored. So right, we're gonna put this card together. Sit this on the black. Like that. And I'm going to sit this black. green and that will go on there but first of all we've got to stick this on so all I did was glue the middle and then where there was big spots stuck some glue and that will go across there yeah I have to glue it flat Bit 
straight. And then we'll put this on our card base. This one. Let's chop that off just there. Perfect. All right, I'll just glue this bit on. This is only for decoration, nothing else. flowers have dimensionals on them and no none of the leaves so I am going to put This flower right in the middle. And this one underneath to the side. And then I get one of the leaves. I haven't done anything for the inside, did I do? No. Um, I'll just leave. What can I do on the inside? I oh, know, I'll just do some splatter dots. This is off the head this, so I'm going to just put them like that and I'm going to stamp, um, hope you have an amazing birthday, it's your day, that's what I'll stamp. First of all, oh. right at the back under.
all I've got right now is some gems. And I'm going to add just that three gems here. I'm popping glue in because I'm finding these do not stay on unless I pop a bit of glue on. There they are. All done. Should have put a bit more splatter dot there. Never mind. Well, I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe um, and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.